Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, so uh, I'm the, the founder and uh, uh, CEO of, of Minute Media. As you can tell from uh, the first slide, it's about, uh, it's about sports. Thank you. So this is, this is the one, okay. So uh, we founded the company uh, in Tel Aviv about uh, six and a half uh, years ago. Uh, uh, we are one of the fastest growing online uh, uh, media platform in, in global sports. Uh, so far, we have raised uh, nearly $80 million in cash. Uh, we are nearing 200 employees. 25% uh, of them are in tech. Uh, we, we are serving about 90 million unique users uh, every month. Uh, started commercializing a couple of years ago, and, and this year we're supposed to uh, near uh, $40 million in sales, uh, growing quite fast, as, uh, as you can tell from, from the slide here. Uh, in terms of, uh, uh, in terms of uh, investors, uh, we, we just closed another round uh, led by Goldman Sachs. Uh, you can see some of the other names here. Uh, Battery Ventures were uh, the seed investor in the company ba back in late 2011. A few other investors, obviously a well-known uh, German media company in ProSieben, who is also our uh, strategic joint venture partner uh, here for the German market, and a few other VCs in, in London and, uh, and Tel Aviv. So, uh, what is Minute Media? Uh, we have built a uh, kind of a centralized uh, platform uh, that currently serves three global sports uh, media brands. Uh, 90 Min is, is probably one of the largest football or soccer uh, publishers worldwide. It is active in 12 different markets and, and languages in, in Asia, in Latin America, in Europe, uh, in the US. And that's been our first brand, uh, been operating over the last five, six years. Uh, a couple of years ago, we launched 12 Up uh, in the US. That's a brand that cover America, covers American sports in NBA, NFL, MLB. It's already a top 10 uh, brand uh, in American sports uh, in terms of Comscore. And then a couple of quarters ago, following the kind of the trend, uh, we have launched a, a global esports publishing platform. That's our third uh, double top brand. So before we, uh, uh, we move on with the uh, presentation, this is uh, kind of one example of, of what we do with some of our brands, adver brand advertisers. One of the unique uh, elements of our platform is that we get all the content generated by fans rather than traditional journalists. Uh, and there is a lot of demand nowadays from brands and advertisers uh, uh, who want to access authentic sports, football fans. There is, there is a lot of going on around that in the coming uh, World Cup. And this is a, a good example of what we did with uh, Paramount. Uh, back in the 2016 Euro, launching one of their uh, Star Trek uh, movies. So I will ask the guy on the back to, uh, to play this video. Seven captains, six countries, all out here, blogging for you during Euro 2016. That's right, thanks to Paramount, ahead of the film Star Trek Beyond. My name's Cheeky Sport Joel. And I'm Cheeky Sport Dave. And we're out. We are kicking off at Euro. 2016 and it's amazing. Okay, so uh, again, as you could tell from uh, from that example, we do not at base our business on official rights from the games, but rather on access to a lot of fans around the world who create authentic content, which seems a lot more interesting now for users, uh, for younger audiences, and for uh, uh, brand advertisers. So, so why is it that, that we started a company uh, uh, in Tel Aviv? Now we're very global, but why did we uh, decide to start a company uh, in Tel Aviv six and a half years ago? So first, as we know, we have a very uh, successful uh, national football team. Uh, this is the, uh, the opening Israeli squad that lost to Cyprus at home uh, a couple of years ago in the last match before the trying to qualify for the World Cup, so we didn't make it. Um, that's the last time we played in the Champions League uh, group. You see the fourth team, Maccabi Tel Aviv. We had zero points, we scored one goal. 
in six matches. Uh, how many times uh, you believe we, we appeared in the World Cup? One, okay, I'm not sure where you're from, but uh, okay, so back in 1970, how many times we made it to the Euro? Never, okay. So, so I guess we, we did not choose to start the, the, the company in Tel Aviv uh, because of our football performance. Uh, but, but obviously, uh, the one thing that probably separates Minute Media from other more traditional publishers is the fact that we base our growth and scale and everything we do on, our, on a very deep uh, tech platform. Again, nearly a third of the company is uh, tech uh, uh, team and people based in, uh, in Tel Aviv. And that means that unlike some of the traditional websites, we have a very open global tech platform uh, that allows us a lot of flexibilities. That platform allows fans, thousands of fans, to come and create content using our CMS, replacing a traditional journalist, and do it at a very high uh, quality. In addition, what we can do, unlike traditional media companies, is go very global out of a very uh, centralized location at a, at a minimal cost. So again, that's also enabled by, by the tech platform. Uh, the content strategy is very different from traditional publishers. It's focused on video, uh, multimedia, snackable content, mobile and, and, and social uh, uh, first. So, so that's really the main characteristics that set us apart and allow our scale, have allowed our scale over the last four or five, uh, five years. That's our user growth. Uh, so uh, as you can tell, we did finish last year over 80 million uh, unique users a month. Uh, we are about to exceed 100 million uniques uh, this year. Uh, just in terms of perspective, uh, the top players in that space would be ESPN at 120 million uniques worldwide. Yahoo Sports would be at 110. So we believe that we are on track within the next year or so to, to become number one uh, worldwide in terms of a number of users consuming our sports uh, media platforms. What you also see here is the very global nature of the platform. Unlike ESPN, that is very US focused, uh, we have the luxury of going global uh, and doing it uh, in a very efficient way. And so you can see the, the numbers by, uh, uh, by region uh, over there. OK, this is how we, we've been driving revenue. Uh, and, and so what we see here is obviously direct advertising selling to brand advertisers. We see here programmatic advertising. Video has been very significant uh, over the last couple of years. We now drive about 30% of our revenue from our video. And the one thing that, again, separates us is what we call platform revenues, where we allow many other publishers and media companies to come and license our, our product or, or tech or content. Uh, and that's about 25% of our revenue right now. That's the revenue tra uh, trajectory. We started monetizing in early 16, uh, growing significantly quarter over quarter. Uh, we finished last year at about $20 million in sales, and we believe we're about to finish this year at 34, uh, 35 to, uh, to 40, so growing, uh, growing rapidly. Uh, Mention the open plat tech platform that we have built. And so in addition to inviting advertisers to work on our, to access users on our, on our tech, uh, we also license it to other companies. If you open our, the 90 min app, app here in Germany, uh, what you will see is 90 min powered by Randy e or ProZiben. Uh, we have a joint venture. They do license our, uh, our product. Uh, Turner is doing the same thing, licensing our product in, in Brazil, uh, and, and so on and so forth. Um, there are a lot of companies that license our content. So Yao in Europe, MSN in the US, Sports Illustrated in the US, they want to diversify their content mix, and, and they do use more and more of our fan-created content. You can, you can see it on their, on their sites. What we're also seeing is more and more video right owners uh, that put their rights on our site. You can see uh, Univision and Time Inc. in the US as an example. So we're starting to see more highlights uh, uh, videos on our platform uh, working with those kind of partners. And then we also have the traditional kind of advertisers like Nike and Pepsi and uh, Warner Brothers, Budweiser, that uh, advertise with us on a uh, regular basis. That would be the, uh, uh, the last slide. That's a showcase of what we do with one of the brand advertisers. In this case, it's Netflix launching Narcos, the Narcos series, 
uh, in the UK, and this is how they have integrated the Narcos content into our 90 min offering uh, using content marketing, access to audiences, and, and video, uh, uh, video content. So uh, if you can please play the video. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, have a good day. Thank you, Marco, and apologize for running a little late. <laughs>